Well, you may have already started to see and hear the ads that started running yesterday to oppose a constitutional carry bill in the state legislature. WMTW News 8's political reporter Paul Merrill is here now to tell us who is behind these ads. Paul. Steve, the ads are coming from two anti gun violence groups that have headquarters in New York and Washington, D.C. The groups are partially funded by former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. A spokeswoman won't tell us exactly how much the groups are spending to advertise here in Maine beyond the fact that the dollar amount is five figures. Maine has a tradition of responsible gun ownership. The new ad campaign opposes LD 652. It's a bill that would eliminate the requirement that Mainers apply for and get permits before carrying concealed weapons. Republican State Senator Eric Brakey of Auburn is the bill's sponsor. He calls this a common sense and modest measure. All we're doing is saying that if you can already legally own and carry a handgun, that you can put on a jacket without being a criminal. And being treated like a criminal. Brakey says this ad campaign is an example of how out of state money is trying to distort a main issue. People with no safety training at all, even violent criminals, could carry hidden, loaded handguns in public. That's absolutely not true. Brakey says the current law creates an unnecessary barrier to law abiding citizens who want to protect themselves. The fact that we would criminalize someone for putting on a jacket when all they're trying to do is be prepared in the case they need to defend themselves. You know, that, that's, that's really bad, bad policy. Democratic State Senator Stan Grzowski of Brunswick calls that view simplistic and says the process of applying for a concealed carry permit is an important one to keep. The real question is, is do they have the good moral character that our um, concealed weapons uh, permit requires? There was a similar bill in the last legislature. It failed in the House by just one vote. Live in the studio, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.